<gasps> Thanksgiving. <laughs> For my bird. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How's it going? Hope you're good. One more. There you go. <laughs> One more. No, stop. Okay. That's enough. For my birthday this year, I decided to bake myself a cake without a recipe. And so I thought the holiday of Thanksgiving is coming around. Why not put myself to the test once more time and make a whole Thanksgiving feast with no recipe? <coughs> now, this year is the second year that I have done Thanksgiving Friendsgiving and hosted at my house uh, the year before though, <clears throat> last year, my dad was here and he made the turkey and most of the food. So, I've never really cooked a Thanksgiving dinner. I've only watched my father and mother prepare, prepare a lovely feast. So today, we're putting myself to the test to see if I can go deep within my mind's eye and find the recipe, the recipe for Thanksgiving that is inside of me. And the festive shirt, because it says, I got my corn cobbed at the Iowa State Fair. Great, lovely. Let's get started. First things first, we need ingredients. Here they are, we've got a lovely Turkey, this is a chicken. We've got things to make the turkey. The stuffing, the potatoes, cranberry sauce, just like mother used to make. My mom never made cranberry sauce. It always came from the can. And if you ask any self-respecting American, they'll tell you, you just get the cranberry sauce from the fucking can. Don't go through all the trouble of making it. It takes way too fucking long. It's gonna take forever, and then it's not even gonna taste that good. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to prepare the great roast of the turkey. We can leave these here as little festive things. Isn't this festive? Would you say that this is festive? Don't shake, no. This is so festive, look at this. We've got the big, big turkey here, ready to go. Uh, what do I, what, do, what am I, what am I doing? What do I, what do I want? What do I need? What do I need? I need, do I need to take things out of the turkey? Chicken? Something, probably. God, doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look great? Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Don't put your dick in it. Don't look at that. Huh? No. <laughs> so awful. Oh, my poor chicken, what did they do to you? First, we've got to see what this guy's all about. What are the giblets? I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Do we need, to, do I need to go, <laughs> do, I, do I need to go in here? <laughs> I don't. Ow. Giblets. Oh, it's really cold in there. It's really cold in there. Look at how, look at, look. You can see your whole future in there. Justin, zoom in. What's in their future? Oh my God. So now, <gasps> <sighs> Part two of our sweet exercise. Nothing says turkey quite like inside of it. What's inside of it, right? And now we will put some things inside of the turkey. Welcome to Ethan Nestor's big turkey recipe for Thanksgiving. No one does it quite like me. Okay. We're gonna take two whole carrots and a little bit of these. We want two whole carrots. We want some Body. celery. One stalk, two stalk celery. We want <clears throat> a half of, hey, quarter, quarter, half. What you're gonna do is you're gonna chop all those up into little bite-sized pieces. And you're going to put them inside. Mm. 
of your bird. First, we need to do a little bit of peel. Where is my peeler? Last time I used one of these, I snipped the top of my finger off and I had to get my finger cauterized. And they said, this isn't gonna hurt at all. It did. And I passed out and I said fuck to the nurse. Did she appreciate it? I don't know, but not my problem. It was my problem because my finger was fucking cut off. Great. We've got this, we've got that. Now we need half of an onion. Now, you're gonna keep the other half for the stuffing that we're going to use later on. We're going to do a little bit of this. A little bit of chop chop. Great. I don't even think we actually need half of an onion. I think a quarter of an onion is grand. Now we need a little bit of a fucking bowl. Good. Into the bowl she goes. Great. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Ethan, what are you doing in here? What are you preparing? Sometimes people like to take some things, make a big little thing, put it in. <gasps> that's why it's called stuffing, isn't it? It's, that's why they call it stuffing. Oh my God. I am a genius. We never cooked the stuffing inside of the bird when I was a wee boy. This is gonna be a first for me. Great. No, no! You don't get to see what I'm doing anymore. It's a secret. This is my kitchen secret. You've missed my secret ingredient. Cutting two of these up at once for efficiency. Now, in here, we've got many ingredients, right? We've got, we've got onion, we've got carrot, we've got celery, we've got all the works. I don't like raw onion. I don't like, I don't want. That means if the stuffing goes in the thing, then I have to put bread in, right? That's how this works. How much bread do I want? This seems like enough bread. Do I use raw bread or do I use toasted bread? I'm not sure, so we're gonna do both. I'm gonna put this in the toaster, okay? This is one, two, three, four, five times two. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're doing this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Now this looks fucking good. Into the bowl it goes. Now we have bread. Now, what else do we need? Oh, we need something to oil this bitch up. Do I not have olive oil? Oh, olive oil. Ooh, apple cider vinegar. This might be good in here. I like the smell of it. So we're gonna put a little bit in. Why? Well, because I'd like to. We're gonna put a little bit of this. Good. What do you think of when you think of Thanksgiving? That's right, white people. And what do we not use a lot of? Spices. But here today, I'm gonna change the game, okay? Because I've got so many spices in here. What? Oh! Look at all the herbs! Oh! 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 This is everything I need. Oh, also, I don't think I prefaced this video. Jocelyn got me all of the ingredients. Zero recipe, okay? So if you think about it, if you think about it, I could make the perfect meal. Will I? Yeah, fuck you. We're going to put some par- Oh my God. See what I have to do, folks? I have to spend my valuable time and effort and all of my strength Damn it. I have to spend my valuable time and efforts 
into opening these herbs and spices. All 11 of them. No, it's too late, Jocelyn. Don't say to me, don't take up the frame. Good. We've got sage. A little bit of this. Good. A little bit of this. Parsley. A little bit of this. <gasps> Time. I wish I had more of it. Don't you? <sighs> now, the classic. Little bit of salt. Never hurt nobody. You hear that? That means our things are done. Ow. Fuck, they're hot. Ow. <laughs> Great. Grand. Splendid. Listen to that crunch. Yeah. Now, get familiar with the stuffing that you've made, okay? This is going to bake inside of your bird. If the bird bakes, internal temp of a chicken is 165 degrees. So that means if I cook the bird at 425 in 45 minutes, it should be done, right? I don't know. So we have the base of our stuffing. We bring the bird back from the dead. We take him, we caress him. Now, this hole, we remember. You remember this guy? Justin, put my face in the hole. The stuffing is going into the bird and the bird will go in the oven. Our stuffing will be stuffed into the bird and when we slice open the bird, the stuffing will fall onto the plate. This is the way that the tradition goes and this is the way that I will make it. Now, <clears throat> let's fill this bird. Are we supposed to clean it? Am I supposed to clean it? Are you actually asking? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Is this how you do it? Just fill it with water. Do you think anybody ever does shots from a bird? You could fill it with tequila. I'm not going to because I don't want poisoning. Of, look, he's flying. <laughs> Butter. You can't tell me what to do, Jocelyn. This whole video. Uh, he's not supposed to give me ideas. He's not supposed to give me ideas. I'm supposed to have the ideas. Now, it's time that we season the bird. I'll flip this bad boy over. And then, even though it was spoiled to me, I guess I should put butter on the bird. Even though the whole video is me going without a recipe. Yeah. Jocelyn had to ruin the video. So if the video turns out bad and you go, God, this sucked. It's because Jocelyn told me to put butter on the bird. Okay? Don't complain to me when the video's bad. Okay? Complain to Jocelyn. Melting it. The butter. This is what Thanksgiving is all about. What are you thankful for this year? It's like an artist making a painting. I am making the bird. Yep, right there. Yeah, nice. Now that's a nice job with that bird. You've got to season your bird. So many people nowadays think, I don't need to season my bird. Wrong. You know, so many people just do the same thing every year. Not me, not the way I do it. We're gonna be mixing it up this year. I'm thinking we want something spicy. A Little bit of chili powder. Never hurt nobody. Could be a little spicy little bird. That could be kind of cool. That could be kind of good. A Little bit of cayenne pepper. Never hurt nobody. And a little bit of whatever this is. I don't know what this is but a little bit of it never hurt nobody. You're thinking, Ethan, what if I don't want a spicy bird? Good for you. There's another side. And on the other side, we will put some parsley on the bird. Some more salt on the bird. Jocelyn's making a stinky face behind the camera. And I'm just wondering, yeah, I worked front of house. I didn't fucking make the food. You think I would be making this video if I made the food? No. One bay leaf to go atop 
the bird. Good. It's time we stuff this bird full of the stuffing. Now, don't be afraid, okay? Why do they call it stuffing? Because you have to stuff the bird's asshole, okay? So make sure you get a healthy gulp of everything that you made. Get those onions in there, get those celery bits in there, the carrots. Now, last thing, and this is very important. We must tie up the bird. All right, so now after a few minutes, your bird should be all good and tied up. Our oven is preheated and ready to go. I'm gonna put this bad boy in here. I am going to, I had to flip the bird around a couple times just to make sure it was all tied up nice and good. All right, now we've got our bird. It's ready for the oven. I'm putting it in the oven. Good to go. I thought there was a fire outside. It's that reflecting off of the window. Whoops. All right, folks, next up is the <coughs> classic. While we wait for our bird to cook, it's time for a little bit of mother's favorite sauce of the cranberry variety. We've got cranberries and cranberries. Thinking about this rationally. Thinking about this rationally. Cranberry sauce should just be cranberries. Turn this on, low heat. We're gonna do a stick of butter and sugar. How much sugar? I'm going to say a cup of sugar. Probably a cup. Relax. Cranberries, a cup of sugar, a stick of butter. What else could possibly be in there? You know? If I just do a smidge of mashing, right? Then this should be good. Make sure that your butter is near the bottom of the pan, all right? Because in good time, this will turn from butter and cranberries and uh, sugar to cranberries out, okay? But you just have to give it a little bit of time, okay? You don't want the butter to burn, don't want the sugar to burn. Sugar, to sugar burn? To sugar burn? La da da. La dee dee. Mm. La dee doo. Mm. La dee dum. <laughs> you made a big old face when I put in a whole stick of butter in here. But I think that it's a good amount of butter. It's gonna make it juicy. It's gonna make it flavorful. It's gonna make it all sorts of good, good, okay? Make sure you're zooming in on, zoom in on that. Make sure you're zooming, make it dynamic. Jocelyn, you have to make it dynamic. You have to make it dynamic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wanna see more zooms. All around I wanna see more zooms. Not that chaotic. There has to be order amongst the chaos. I am the chaos, okay? I do the chaos thing. You have to bring a little bit of order, but dynamic order. That's where Justin comes in. No, incorrect. I mean, yes, <laughs> but there has to be dynamic camera movement. Is that dynamic enough for you? Shut up. <laughs> Look at this cranberry soup that we've made. Soon it will be a sauce. A lovely, lovely sauce. Now, apparently, I'm supposed to just let these berries cook for a little bit, okay? I don't think there's enough sugar in here. I'm gonna put a little bit more sugar. Stir this on in, and we're just gonna let that sit for a moment. Just a moment, okay? We're gonna sit. Let that simmer for a moment. Not everything has to be so feisty, you know? 
Maybe we sit and think about what we're grateful for. Huh? It's Thanksgiving after all. Why don't you let me know what you're grateful for down in the comments section below. What am I grateful for? Probably my charm, my good looks, my humbleness, my good sense of humor, my willingness to keep going, even when sometimes I just want this train to stop train keeps going down these tracks and we don't know where the last station is but we stay on the train all the same we keep going trusting the conductor to take us to that final stop Will it be worth it in the end when we reach that final destination? Will we feel like the ride was worth it? Will we appreciate the sights that we saw along the way and maybe some of our fellow passengers that we met on our journey? Or will we look back and regret ever buying that ticket? I don't know. Gotta let that get to a simmer. Boil. It's gotta boil. It has to boil. That's it. I figured it out. It has to boil first. And then we bring it down to a simmer. <laughs> you can't fool me, Jocelyn. I know how to cook. Not yet the red consistency. We should check in on the bird. The bird! The bird! Can you see me over here? No? Can you see me now? Let's look at the bird. Oh, wow. It's not done yet. There's much to go on the bird. Much to go on the bird. Okay. Last thing to do, the classic. The potatoes. I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five, six potatoes. Cut them up. You know how it goes. Juggle? You want me to juggle? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's pretty good, honestly. There's a bunch of shit on these potatoes. Make sure you wipe them off a little bit. Get them all nice and clean before you proceed with the making of the potatoes. Whoa! All right, you know how knives work. I'm gonna cut these up. You don't need to see it. Okay, potatoes are potatoing. Time to drain the potato. Good job, potato. We put this there, and then we take this. And we put it back inside. Great. Now comes the time to mash said potato. Okay. Now, many people might be thinking, Ethan, you left the skin on, you stupid whore. I know I left the skin on. I left the skin on because I, for one, like the skin, okay? I enjoy the skin of the potatoes. Now, you might not, and that's fine. Whatever. I don't care if you don't like the skin of the potatoes. I don't care at all, actually, because this is my Thanksgiving dinner. This is my Eve's giving. Ugh. <laughs> it's 
stick of butter. Put the stick of butter in there. The bird, the bird sings for us. The bird sings. All right, all right. It can still use a little tiny bit more time. Then we're going to do about that much milk. A little bit of salt. Now we get to mashing real good. Mashed potatoes, have I ever made them? Nope. Time for a taste. Uh. I threw up in my mouth a little bit. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty good. It is too much salt, though. Gamers, it is just about game time. It's time to take the titular bird out of the oven. The timer has gone off. And so it's time to get this bird out. Okay, go, go. What is the internal cooking temperature of a chicken? 165. Just like I thought. The moment of truth. We're good. Good. All right. Now, it's time. To carve the biggest bird of them all. We release the little slot from its tethers. And now, we carve. I don't know how to cut the chicken away. This is not looking exactly done. What about this though? Oh, now that part doesn't look too shabby. The last part of Thanksgiving is always serving yourself a nice, gooping plate of your meal. We've got the cranberry sauce. We've got the potatoes. And of course, a little bit of our lovely bird. And our stuffing. Gamers, we almost forgot about our stuffing. Now dare I say it, a feast fit for a king. Nice of you to join me. We've got our cranberry sauce, we've got our potatoes, we've got the works. Now we just Really hot. <laughs> Honestly, if I'm being honest, it's not bad. It's really not bad. 
mashed potatoes are good. Good consistency. Nice little skin on there for some varied taste. Definitely a little salty. A little bit of salt, a little bit too much salt. Mm -hmm. The cranberry sauce. Look at the texture on that. Honestly, the, <laughs> the cranberry sauce is actually good. Like it's really fucking sweet. Now for the stuffing. Now the stuffing. Man. The stuffing is interesting. The stuffing is definitely like real moist, but my family never could put the stuffing in the bird. It's not bad. It's definitely like soggy, but the elements are there. It's weird because it's soggy. The bread is soggy, but the carrots are underdone. And then the chicken is mostly just bland. Like it's just a little dry. It's not dry, it's actually juicy. Spice-wise though, it's bland. Jocelyn is behind the camera looking very upset. Chill out, <laughs> fucking chill out. I did this with no recipe. I would like, if you may, Jocelyn, I would like you to make yourself a little plate, okay? I would like, if you would like, to make yourself a little plate and I would like a review of what I have done. <laughs> All of it is technically edible. <laughs> Everything's edible. <laughs> but it's like passable. You're not gonna have a stomach ache, I promise you. Justin put Jocelyn in witness protection. <laughs> Huh? This is really sweet. Right? Like it's not great. If I had this at somebody's house, I'd be like, eh, this is kind of rough. <laughs> but as far as like, what would you rate this out of 10? Give it a solid rating. If you went to somebody's house and they served you this, what would you give this out of 10? Five? Five out of 10? Five out of 10, no recipe. No recipe, five out of 10? I think that's pretty good. Okay, well, which is it? Five or four? Yep, the bird's bland. Potatoes are not bad. Potatoes are not bad, definitely too salty though, yeah? I mean, that's not that bad. Potatoes are pretty good. I think they could be creamier. And the cranberry swaz? Cranberry is like, I'd say like a four. Out of 10? I don't like the butter. Let's get Spencer's review. Spencer, sit. <laughs> sit. Sit. Spencer, I want your honest review. Pretty good? Would you say pretty good? I think he thinks that it's pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. Well, folks, I would say that this was a smashing success. I would say that no recipe, no prior knowledge, just pure instinct. I would say that I did pretty damn good with this. And hey, that's something in itself to be thankful for. All right? So, 
I hope your corns get cobbed this Thanksgiving. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're having a dandy time. Happy holidays to all. We're getting into the holiday season. The joyous time of year, festive time of year. A time to be thankful of the things that we have and a time to be hopeful for the things that are coming. So don't forget, stay grateful, stay good. And I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys. This is not about him, this is about Thanksgiving. <laughs>